Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be my very, very first English spoken vlog. So the reason behind this vlog is that because a couple of days ago I was involved in a webinar led by Warwick staff um, talking to prospective students and I was one of the um, alumnus. So obviously it kind of like made me feel like I really need to record something about my experience at Warwick because I received some questions on Instagram um, from prospective students asking me things about my experience and I thought to myself why not do something on YouTube? that can stay forever at your disposal. So obviously the world is going through quite a bit of something called COVID-19. Um, so I'm not gonna talk about it. It's not my job to talk about it. I don't know anything about the application process. Um, although I had been in touch with some education counselors, um, but those videos were aimed at my Turkish followers. Um, but I do know that at Warwick there is help and advice available if you've got any questions about how COVID-19 may affect your application process. Um, so you can just go to the website and check the related sections. Um, so long story short, I am originally from Turkey and living in the UK and studying in the UK had always been a very big fascination for me. So coming to Warwick, studying on a lovely campus was one of the highlights of my life so far. And also full disclaimer, um, even if I am aiming my conversation at international students mostly, um, I do think that, you know, overall the things that I'm going to say applies to all sorts of students, whether you're from the UK or else. So I remember the first day I arrived in the UK and I have to say that the orientation program, which is the program that you are taken into in your first week, um, that is a part of university and that is where you kind of like meet your first friends and you are given some introductions and instructions on how the university operates. There were so many things happening in the orientation week and I simply cannot remember all of them. It's been a while by the way, it's been a few years since I graduated. Um, so first of all, my first kind of like regret was not living on campus. Um, I remember that I was a bit late for my on-campus accommodation application. Uh, that was completely my mistake. Um, if, especially if you're an international student, I do advise for you to stay on campus in your first year, simply because the campus is amazing. Like, it's very green, it's very big, and it's like what I call a small life simulation because you've got everything on campus. I mean, imagine you've got the bank, you've got laundrette, you've got um, bars, restaurants, everything is at your disposal. So it's just great to get yourself ready for the real life as an adult. Uh, but when you live elsewhere, for example, in a nearby city, I mean, Coventry is actually where Warwick is situated. A lot of people think Warwick University is in Warwick, but Warwick is somewhere else. It's still in Midlands and you can still go there. It's kind of like closed, but the university is actually in Coventry, which is in Midlands. Not that I disliked Coventry, but it's just great to be able to live on campus because let's say if you need something or if there's a problem or if there's something that you need to share with a professional, um, the help is there and in every student accommodation building there is a ward who is responsible for the functioning of the buildings. Just before filming this video I knew that I was going to talk about the campus because the campus is great. It's really great especially in spring summer term it's so green it's so lively and you are just one with the nature and it, it's just it just gives so much peace of mind uh, but also there are great spots on campus that you can kill time or just even do some extracurricular activities. For example, I am a musician at the same time and I remember finding the Arts Centre quite divine and mighty. It's just great. Um, there are like some music rooms inside if you play an instrument or if you just want to go in and sing, warm up those vocal cords, um, you can do that. Um, there are really good music oriented student societies as well, some clubs that you can be a member of. Um, here in the UK, 
students' unions are very important and they're taken very seriously. And Warwick SU is actually really great at liaising between the students and the staff and the university. And also they have their own entity on campus, like they've got their own building, first of all. And there are a lot happening in the, in the buildings. For example, I remember being involved in the school radio, Radio Warwick. And it was one of the best experiences of my life because it was my first time hosting a radio show in English. It, it helped my English to grow very much. And it just made me, you know, get to know so many great people. And I made so many great friends through my extracurricular activities. Um, I was involved in the Glee Club. Of course I was. So I remember we were part of this national choir competition and I do remember ending up at this very big other university for this choir finale, which was again taken very seriously and all of the other universities' choirs were competing. Speaking of Art Center, um, there is this thing outside the Art Center that is so mighty yet so underrated. It's called the cone. The cone is like something that you just watch spinning for minutes and minutes and minutes and you're just fascinated by it. I mean, it's like a pyramid spinning all day. So it's exactly what it is. In my first year, I moved a lot between accommodations. So my first place was a place called the Liberty Halls, I think, or, or the Liberty House. And that was in Coventry. Um, in a region called Earlston. It was great and I am hearing that it's developing a lot. Unfortunately, there's a stigma on Coventry um, about it being a bad city. Um, I completely, completely disagree with that. It's a developing city and if anything, it is a very student-oriented city um, because it hosts not only Warwick but also Coventry Uni. So there is a wide range of students coming from all around the world, enriching the city. So actually it's a good place to start with. Um, the young population are almost all students. So that's why the market in Coventry is kind of like specifically designed for students, which means it's cheap. But like I said, living on campus in your first year gives you that relaxation um, knowing that you are sort of like a part of the bubble. So I personally recommend that. So my first student halls was a place called the International House. So that's just a name. Like a lot of people think that it's a, it's a building specifically made for international students. That's not quite true. It's just called International House for a reason. Um, it was great and it's a small, it's a small building. So it was not as big as the rest of the student halls. My next place was Harem Bank. And Harem Bank is in this place on campus where it also is quite next to Lakeside. Lakeside is another student halls. Um, and it's just great because just as the name suggests, it's just next to a lake. And there are so many great natural scopes and sceneries going along. If you like nature and if you like walking in nature, jogging and stuff like that, I think that part of the campus is the prettiest. I think if you're a postgrad, if you're a postgrad international student, the best option is either Harem Bank or Lakeside. So I would suggest you to sort of like invest in it um, and do not miss the deadlines for on-campus accommodation. That's very important. Don't do what I did back in the day. Um, when it comes to the education, of course, Warwick is quite top-notch. I studied the MA Creative and Media Enterprises. Um, so the MAs are usually for just one year, but the reason why I spent more than a year is because I worked on campus and I also did a work placement. Um, so it overall took more than one year for me to finish my studies. So talking about education, obviously Warwick is one of the top universities in the UK, um, but the one thing that I have realized and noticed is that it's also quite creative. Something that a lot of people don't talk about because you know a lot of people see Warwick as a science and business oriented uni, which is true, but if you are, for example, studying humanities, arts, um, creative studies, um, Warwick actually supplies you with great knowledge and there are actually great spaces for you to practice your knowledge 
and put theory into practice. Most of the times that you are given the opportunity of taking on work placements um, for a month or a few weeks for you to gain some experience and then upon graduation or in summer term you may carry on those work experiences as internships. Being an international student at Warwick also showed me that there was some help available like for example you may not be quite familiar with how to write a thesis, how to write a dissertation or how to write an essay or your style may not be compatible with what your professors are asking from you so in that case there's a writing center for you to go and consult the professionals and they assess your writing and then they give you advice for you to become the best version of yourself so there is help available in terms of academia and I really think it's very important because every international student comes from a different background and there are things that are quite good at and there are things that they may need to adapt into um, and that's something that Warwick knows quite well because a very high percentage of the student profile is international my favorite place to hang out on campus was um, a place called Curiosity. I'm not sure if it's still something. It's a little coffee shop um, run by students, by the students union. So everyone who works there are actually students. So, um, but the coffee is great. The vibe is great. They had this kind of like um, unplugged music sessions where I stepped in, of course. It was just great. Um, the other one is Dirty Duck. It's a pub in the outskirts on, of the campus and again, I don't know if it's still going on. If it's going on, please do go there and enjoy it for me as well. Um, they had Wednesday karaoke and guys, it was just mind-blowing, like so good, so good. Ever since I've been doing karaoke and like in London there are some pubs that do karaoke but the level of Dirty Duck is it's another level. Um, another great thing about the international students who are preparing to come to Warwick is that now everyone gets a two year extra at the end of their visas. So this will give you enough time to sort of like take on internships, work placements, um, because you have the right to live and work in the UK for those extra two years. And I do think that it's been, it's been amazing. Back in my time, that wasn't the case. We were given a few months to either find a job or go back home. Um, so this is now great for you to settle down and assess what you can do if you want to stay in the UK. There's also the international office um, who can help you with visa extensions. Um, in some cases, you may need to extend your student visa, for example, if you need to rewrite your dissertation or if you need to lengthen your stay for some reason. Um, the Warwick office does your application on your behalf um, and they have professional immigration advisors helping you throughout the process. There's also a lot happening online at the moment so if you've got any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I do hope you've enjoyed this little snippet of my experience at Warwick. Like I said if you've got any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.